when is the corner is going to show up? I'm here, I'm here, don't fret. Your lives will be a lot better in a couple of seconds. Just please refrain from touching everything in the crime scene. You, it is the utmost importance for you guys to be wearing safety gear while you guys are on the scene because uh, you don't want to get your DNA on the uh, victim. But be my guest, we can close this up in a jiffy and uh, blame you guys as the murderers. Your eyes look rather red. Have you been getting much sleep with your busy schedule? You amuse me. Your eyes look uh, rather glazed. I've been eating donuts like, like the other officers have. Just get out of my sight and let me do my thing. Are you done yet? Or do we have to wait the Grand River? Brian Castor, he's a victim, he's 46 years old. He's Caucasian, seems to be Christian. He's married, he's got three kids. He's a construction worker, judging by his clothes. And he has lung cancer, but doesn't really help the case. Um, but it's really weird how the blood seems to be drained out of his body. Seems like the serial killer has busted us again. The, the past 32 victims all have the same MO. The blood has been drained out and all the organs have been gutted out as well. The nails have been removed from the body, the hands and feet. And all of this was done while the victim was still alive, so. There was a perfect incision from shoulder to the sternum. Oh, I can't beat it. Is it possible that the murderer had had past experience with being a coroner? No, it can't be. Doctors can't do that with their patients. They can't make incisions like these. Only coroners know how to do these things. Everyone, just stop. Officer, I need you to shut this place down. I believe that the killer is still with us in this room. Okay.